Channel 7 presents live from downtown Detroit, the 2023 Red Carpet Charity Preview. Detroit is dazzling cars and fashion taking center stage tonight, and we have it all. We're talking about the sights, the sounds, and lots of sequins. The automotive industry is showing off their EVs, their horsepower, and even a flying car, all in an effort to fundraise for six Detroit nonprofits. Good evening to you. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Channel 7 is proud to be the official broadcast partner of the charity preview. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now this is really an evening to give back to our community. And we have crews around the auto show tonight who are going to show you the coolest concepts, the technology powering the cars of tomorrow, and of course, what's trending on the fashion front. So let's start on the red carpet with Keenan and Alicia. Hey guys. Hey guys, uh, it is an, an incredible night out here. Of course, the Auto Show Charity Preview is the night when Metro Detroit turns out in its best, and this Woo! is no different. Look what at a all handsome these beautiful crowd here. people. The ladies gorgeous in their gowns, the guys mm. dapper in those tuxedos. And look at you, midnight blue tux with the gold well, velvet tie, you. by the and, way. And emerald, my goodness. Thank you. I have Stunning. to thank Zane Boutique for, for doing this. I'm going to try a twirl. She didn't try a twirl. Oh, she twirled. She twirled, didn't she? You know who's shining? Glenda Lewis. Oh, you brought it, Glenda. <laughs> oh, right back at you, my sister friend, Alicia and Keenan. And good evening to all of you. Fashion, the future on the roads, and the future for children in our community. That is what this evening is all about. It is filling up with some beautiful people with passion for our children, all supporting tonight's charity preview, kicking off the auto show. I see you over there in Stellantis, my partner, Brian. <laughs> Hey, G. Yeah, things are just getting going here, and already people are getting a bane for their buck. Take a look at the truck territory here in Stellantis. We have so much to show you throughout the night. The EV Ram is one of them. We're going to have a great time. We're going to bring it to you all, Mike and Carolyn. We are going to bring it tonight. Thank you, Brian. Hundreds of journalists from around the world. We're in town all this week to see the new car reveals, and they were not disappointed. We're talking 35 vehicle brands and even a flying car. We're talking Jetson style. That's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. So we have a look at what you can do at the North American International Auto Show. The excitement started Tuesday night when Ford hosted F-150 Fast. Ford unveiled the new 2024 F-150. The trucks can tow more than 13,000 pounds, has an adaptive tailgate, and the technology to act as a mobile power generator. Wednesday, Jeep thrilled journalists with the new 2024 Gladiator. Off-road trail maps are available on the mid-size truck. The Gladiator Glow Up includes a new grille and interior dash design. Cadillac showed off the 2025 CT5. The luxury sports sedan has a redesigned front end, a driver-centric cockpit, and next-gen connectivity. GMC drove out its 2024 Acadia in two trim levels. You can feel the luxury inside and out of this mid-size SUV. It's added many more new elements, including spacious third row seating and hands-free driving technology. Ford showed off its supercar, the 2025 Mustang GTD. It's the fastest Mustang ever with more than 800 horsepower. Aleph Aeronautics teased its Model A flying concept, which can drive on the street, take off vertically and fly. Tonight we'll also share with you so many other experiences like the powering Michigan EV track, where you can test out an electric vehicle. Or climb up the hill at Ford's Adventure Mountain. Or go off-road at the Camp Jeep and Ram Territory. You won't want to miss the 2023 North American International Auto Show. 
A lot of good stuff, huh, Mike? So many things to see. Now, of course, we want to acknowledge that the UAW and the Detroit Three did not reach an agreement by last night's deadline. Yeah, we all know that you know that at home. United Auto Workers are on strike, of course. As we talk to people in the automotive industry tonight, they are not likely wanting to comment on the ongoing negotiations. But still, tonight is an evening to raise millions for charities across southeastern Michigan. So let's check back in with Alicia and Keenan on the red carpet as they talk to one of tonight's beneficiaries. Hi, guys. We are so thrilled to have Luann Thomas Ewald with us, the COO of CS Mott Children's Hospital, one of six charities benefiting from all of the generosity of the people here tonight. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me. We're so excited to be here. Yeah. And Luann, you know, what do, how does uh, CS Mott use the money collected from events like this to actually provide great care for kids? So we, we use the funds really to help our children and our family while they're hospitalized. And we really try to keep their minds and their spirits off of why they're there. So we use it for things like we have a teddy bear fund. So we want to make sure every child that comes in the hospital has a friend, has a comfort friend. Um, we use it for books. We use it for games. We use it for child life specialists who really sit at the bedside with our children and um, they, use, they teach them distraction. So if they're going through pain, they help them breathing. We have um, yoga experts, right? So we use it to really help the children remember that they're children and, and try to have at least some comfort while they're in the hospital. That's so important. It really it's is. It's so important. We're, and the team we have doing it, it's just amazing. Very impactful. Now I have to, I have to brag because y'all just won an honor. We did another honor. We were named the number one children's hospital in the state of Michigan for the 17th year in a row. All right. We're so, so proud, so proud of the doctors, nurses, our whole, all of our care teams who just come to work every day with their hearts and their heads and we're just so proud. Incredible. Thank you so much for everything CS Mott Children's does in our community. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, and clearly just a great way to uh, come out here and support organizations like this. Carolyn and Mike. And you know that's really what it's all about. Thank you so much, Keenan and Alicia. It is all about that. Well, Ford, of course, showed off its most extreme Mustang this week. That's the GTD. And joining us now is Greg Goodall, Mustang GTD Chief Program Engineer. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much for having us. This is an awesome night. <laughs> Isn't it an awesome night? Everything looks so beautiful. So we got to talk about this performance car. This racing car is so sweet, so fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, got to be happy about that. We're so proud. Uh, everything about this uh, car is next level. It truly is a race car for the streets. We took all the technology from the Mustang GT3 race car that's going to Le Mans next year. We kept the good stuff like the transaxle and the, the dry sump. And then we added things onto it that's illegal in racing, like an active aero, a supercharger, targeting over 800 horsepower. Um, just all about performance, all about blistering track times and being absolutely as awesome as it could possibly be. One sweet ride, right? And of course we want to talk more about that te technology in this supercar. What are the aerodynamics be behind the GTD? So we have an available active aero system and that basically means that we have a wing on the back of the vehicle that when you're going into turns will give you maximum downforce. And then when you get into the straightaway, it'll automatically open up to reduce drag so you can just take off past your competitors. It's right. absolutely awesome, and it all happens automatically. It's, we've got some very trick controls in there that just make it seamless to give the operator, the, the driver, the best possible driving experience. Well, Greg, we know the GTT is at the top of the food chain. We so appreciate you joining us tonight. So much for you to be proud of. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Thank you. All right, coming up, the colors, the styles, the accessories. Next, we head back to the red carpet to see what's trending in fashion tonight. Thank you. Greg, that was great. DMV like the One, two, three, four, pick and choose. You got angles, you got angles, you so bad.